I mentioned earlier that health bosses are expecting an increase in swine flu cases. Those figures we've just had. Last Wednesday, more than 1,000 people got antiviral drugs to tackle that H1N1 virus. That's in the northwest. But it is twice as many as a fortnight before. 85,000 people in our region have had uh, treatment for swine flu. More than 1,100 have needed hospital care. So we thought we'd better get some professional advice. Joining me now, Dr Steve Henderson, who's a GP in Withenshaw. Welcome. Hi there. Should we be alarmed by these statistics, Doctor? Not yet. You know, I think that uh, the statistics are showing some variation, but there's no evidence yet that there's a second wave to the pandemic. Well, we say second wave. Some say there was hardly a first wave, really. The media did go absolutely yeah. bonkers over it, and then it seemed to be a bit of a damp squib. I mean, are we when, when the flu season kicks in again, when the weather gets a bit worse, are we expecting perhaps more cases? than we've had? I think there's every possibility in that and therefore we should be prepared for that. Yeah, we were very lucky. The first wave of the, uh, of the pandemic was relatively mild and it didn't affect people too badly, but then we were heading towards the summer, the weather was a bit better and we had that you know, sort of school break come at just the time when uh, you know, the pandemic was maybe at its highest. And one of the main things that spreads the, uh, the pandemic is that close, uh, that close contact that often occurs in schools. Yeah, my wife is a teacher in a primary school yeah. and about two weeks into the new term she comes on with all kinds of colds because the children are all there infecting each Absolutely. other. Absolutely. So, I mean, people are no longer going to GP surgeries. That's the advice anyway. Are they, are they taking that advice and not bothering you? Oh, you know, patients have been really good and they have been following the advice. They've been phoning the flu line and they've been getting advice there and then getting directed towards treatment if that's appropriate. I think there's still room for us to all get better about the hygiene side of things, washing our hands thoroughly after uh, you know, contact and such. I try and break those contacts between, between patients. But uh, you know, in general, I think we've had a, you know, a good trial run almost for what could, could be a rather worse second wave. So uh, is there enough virus should that second wave become as bad as Sim predicts it might be? Have well, we got plenty of Tamiflu? And what uh, we yeah, we've got great stocks of Tamiflu and we are all, you know, very close to having the vaccine available as well. So you know, in, in those terms, we're very, very well prepared in the North West. Uh, you know, has done an excellent job in getting ready for you know, what could it be It is an element, uh, an element of self-diagnosis is required here, isn't yeah. it? Because obviously we're being, you know, patients are being told, don't go to your GP. So symptoms, please. I know we've done this many times, but people need to be reminded. Well, if, you, if you present with what symptoms, might it be swine flu? primary flooded? one is temperature. You know, if you're not running a temperature, the likelihood of you actually having the flu is not high. But then it's just the usual symptoms of cough, sore throat, perhaps some diarrhoea, general achiness in the muscles. Those are the sort of standard symptoms. But unfortunately, they're like the symptoms of just about every other virus. So, you know, it is difficult to say, well, that one's definitely swine So flu. are the NHS erring on the side of caution when, the, when these thousand doses of Tamiflu are being issued? Is that a thousand cases of swine flu or is that possibly 500 cases of swine flu and 500 cases yeah. of being cautious? You know, the, there are spotter practices that are trying to look uh, for the very specific... Um, uh, cases that, and they're actually doing testing on those ones but obviously we can't t test everybody so you know there will be some of those patients don't have swine flu but yeah you've got to be cautious you can't you can't uh, you have to treat where uh, the symptoms exist and what about um staying away from somebody else who you suspect might have it? Can you absent yourself or your children or your family from school? Is that sensible advice? Or well, should people carry on their lives as normal? I think you should try and carry on as normal. You know, I think the, the onus really should be on those that are suffering to keep out of the way of everybody else. So stay at home, you know, make sure that you try and keep contacts to the minimum and obviously make sure that you're doing things like sneezing in the right way, sneeze into your elbow, use a tissue, throw, throw it, it away. away. All the stuff that we've all heard, but we need to keep reminding ourselves that that's the way Because uh, that second wave may yet come. We'll keep an eye on it very closely. Absolutely. In the meantime, Doctor, thanks very much indeed for your time.